Greetings my brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today my topic is the law, the prophets and the Psalms. My brothers and sisters, we always question ourselves, what was the word of God like at the time of our Lord Jesus when he was on this planet? just like one of us but he was fully man and fully God so as a man how did he pray how did he contemplate how did he act how did he speak everything we will see from today's scriptures now when you look at the gospel of Matthew chapter 22 verses 36 to 40 think not that I have come to destroy the law or the prophets. I have not come to destroy but to fulfill. So my brothers and sisters, if we contemplate on this word, on this passage, when the Pharisees started accusing him that he is not keeping up the Sabbath which the Mosaic law wanted, but then they did not know the difference. How love is more important than anything else. Like if your fellow human being is in need of that, so you have to look at that fellow human being than making that, going that distance to keeping up some ritual. So here he says, he has not come to abolish the law. So the law for Jesus was meant the mosaic law and Whatever the prophets inspired by the Holy Spirit of God wrote. And of course, the Psalm of David which comes at a later time. Uh, and then, because we know that Jesus is the root of Jesse and you know, like, uh, the root of uh, David's clan. He comes, but we know that's the kind of uh, ancestry we have. But then Jesus had these Psalms of David, the prophets inspired words and also the law, the Mosaic law, the Ten Commandments and all the other various commandments which Moses wrote during that passage from Egypt to the Promised Land. So Jesus had all those texts and he meditated and contemplated. One beautiful verse which he talks about is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 when the devil tempts him after his 40 days of fasting he was so famished that he wanted to eat something then the devil comes there and says make these stones to bread and you can fill your hunger but then he tells him from Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 3 Man doesn't live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from mouth of God. So my brothers and sisters, Jesus obeyed the laws of prophet, the laws and the prophets and the Psalms he sung. We find in the Passover, the, Jesus with his apostles sung the Psalms, what David sang years ago. Now, the law and the prophets until the time John the Baptist preaching the kingdom of God. So the law and the prophets, whatever was given by God to prophet Moses and the other prophets in the Old Testament, they were all valid and were a kind of a secret until the time of John the Baptist he opened up that there will be the Messiah who would come and who would deliver everyone by love Matthew chapter 13 verse 13 this is why I speak in parables because seeing they do not see and hearing they do not hear nor do they understand so my brothers and sisters, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, 
the Herodians, the elders, the priests of the time of Jesus, they were all so caught up with the law. They were just not understanding the meaning, the essence of the law, the purpose of the law. And that's the reason Jesus tells his apostles, he teaches them in parables. Though they hear the parables, they're not able to understand. Though they see the miracles, they're not able to get it. Still, they're going against him. So, my brothers and sisters, we are so gifted to have the word of God with us captured by the four different Gospels, various letters of St. Paul, the epistles, and then of course James, etc. Peter, James, John's letters. We are so privileged to understand that because God is giving us everything in clarity, total clarity, because that's the love Jesus wants to give us. And the same love we need to share it with our fellow human beings. Romans chapter 3 verse 23 For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. My brothers and sisters, we find in our present times exactly the same situations which happened at the time of Jesus. The Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Herodians, the elders, the priests, they did not believe in him. And the same thing is happening now, even in our present times. People still question our faith, still ask our rational. They call us fools. It's the, exactly the same thing. They will mock at us. But we know that the word of Jesus says, do not worry about the person who can kill your physical body, but not your soul. But fear the one who can kill both you physically and spiritually. So my brothers and sisters, we all have sinned, yes, but we need to rise from that fall. Understand, meditate the word of God and believe in him in the silence of our hearts. Acknowledging him that he is in control and not us. Matthew chapter 11 verse 11. Truly I say to you, among those born of women there has been no one greater than the John the Baptist, yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. My brothers and sisters, this is a great summary of what Jesus is talking about, the one. And for the physical world who follows all the laws of the prophets, the Mosaic law and the Psalms, but the one who is greatest in the kingdom is the one we find that the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The one who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. Imagine that how the kingdom of God is going to be. It's going to be an amazing place which we cannot comprehend unless we go experience it. We can experience in the silence of our hearts. We can hear the stories from the saints who have written down how their experience has been. So we can learn from the saints. We can learn by pure love. We can understand how God's eternal kingdom is going to be. Because God is love. And his kingdom is going to be full of love. So in that kingdom of love, the least in that kingdom of love is greater than John the Baptist. The prophet who came into this world, who is the greatest among all prophets, who professed, who made way clear for our Creator God to be born, the Word made flesh, to be born as a child. Even the least is greater than Him. So you can imagine the love God has lavished for us, kept for us, if we love Him and our fellow humans. Now Matthew chapter 24 verse 24 For false Christs and false prophets will arise and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. My brothers and sisters, Matthew chapter 24 verse 24 For false Christs will arise. They will quote the scriptures. 
Even the devil quoted the scriptures at the time of Jesus. So that's no different now. And it will even attack, lead the elect astray. So this is very scary, my brothers and sisters. But Jesus has said, I am with you till the end of time. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. So even if people are drawn away from our Lord Jesus, we have the hope in the word of God. The word of God is alive and active. It will give us the strength, the courage to act in those situations. Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to come to abolish but fulfill them. My brothers and sisters, we are so blessed to have a God who is so loving, who came only to die. His main purpose was to die on the cross, to give us that sal salvation, redeem us from the clutches of sin and death. John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that we will have that relationship rejuvenated and we are back with him, loving him. He, has, he, had, he did not come to judge us. So John 3, 17, if you read, he did not come to judge us or condemn us, but to give us life. But after knowing this truth, given in such clarity, if you still stick on, we are going to be in trouble after we finish our life. Jesus made them understand the law. Jesus did not transgress any of the Mosaic law. So from all my brothers and sisters who say that Jesus did not obey the Mosaic law is false. Here we find that Jesus obeyed and he came to fulfill the law. Matthew chapter 22 verse 40. Love your God and love your neighbor. All the laws of the Mosaic law are summed up. In these two commandments which Jesus gave. Love your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. And love your fellow human beings as your own self. So when my brothers and sisters, when we follow these two commandments, everything is fulfilled. So that's what Jesus says. I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill the law. So when we love, our God with all our heart, mind and soul and strength and love our fellow human beings. We are fulfilling God's law. Now let us look at the law. The law is the five books of the Pentateuch or it's also called Torah in Hebrew or in Pentateuch in Greek. The books are Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, Deuteronomy and Leviticus, five books. So those together form the law. Everything is captured there. Now, the prophets, we have the major prophets and the minor prophets. The major prophets we have, we have Elijah, uh, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel. And of course, lamentation also is a prophecy, so that can be the major prophet. Of course, minor prophets, we have a lot. Different categories, we can do it. We have uh, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Bedeah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi. And of course, we have the other books where we find the Maccabees, which is not there in some of the Bible, Protestant Bibles, and Baruch, Sirach, Tobit. Of course, you have Nehemiah, Judith, etc. There, I think that, that those are the prophets. Yeah, 12 minor prophets and the prophets. But then, if you look at Book of Maccabees, we have a lot of insight to understand the Ark of the Covenant, which I have spoken in my previous videos. So please go back to my subscribe it and you know you can uh, get all the other information also why this book of Maccabees 
is in the Catholic Bible, you know, how much insight it's giving us. The time what happened at Mount Nebo when the Ark of the Covenant of God was buried. There the prophet Jeremiah at that time. And then they, find, they, they cannot locate that place. Neither was the place where Moses was buried. So likewise, when you come to Maccabees, the answer is there. When the Ark of Covenant is, comes down, I think that's the end of the Ark. But we have had so many movies, etc. about looking for the Ark. The Ark of the Covenant is Mother Mary. And now, when we go and participate in the Eucharistic, feast eucharistic celebration we also become the ark of the covenant so we should be joyful that we have a lord within our hearts in our minds and in our spirits so my brothers and sisters we can say that jesus obeyed the laws and whatever prophets prophetic words which were existing at that point in time with these five books Jesus followed it, obeyed it, and made people understand that they have to do everything in love, in humility, and in kindness. So my brothers and sisters, please let me know how you liked my videos. I've been doing it. Uh, this is probably... 280 plus uh, videos so please go back subscribe to all my videos and just send me a comment if you like it or even if you want to uh, share your own experience of with the word of god share it with me i'll be very glad to read that and even reply back to you bye now